Hi! I am Pamela and I am going to be your reporter for today. I hope you, lear you will learn a lot from this topic and I hope that this topic will be useful to you. So, let's start! Hi! Hey everyone! I am Pamela Palomar, a BS Ed 2 social studies student and this is my assigned topic or report. Continuing professional development. The lifeblood of the teaching profession. The learning outcomes are the following. Explain why continuing professional development is essential for teachers. Examine the provisions of CPD Act of 2016 as well as other relevant legal documents. And lastly is make a commitment to professional development. What is professional or what is continuing professional development? This refers to any activity, formal or informal, that helps you develop your skills and knowledge and enhances your professional practice. That means that CPD are those activities like attending seminars, training, workshops, webinars, and many more that helps teacher employees or employees to enhance or improve their skills to learn and practice something new. It is the action we take to maintain, update, and grow the knowledge and skills required for our professional roles, which I believe that is very essential in order to catch up, especially the changes that happens from time to time. So why is CPD essential or why is it important? First, CPD ensures your capabilities keep pace with the current standards of others in the same field. So this enables you to adjust and absorb so that you will you can adapt to what is current to what is the current standard. Next is CPD ensures that you and your knowledge stay relevant and up to date. And uh, it helps you continue to make a meaningful contribution to your team. CPD also helps you to stay interested and interesting. Interested in the sense that you will gain something new. You will, be, you will feel interested and that you will also be interesting for your students because you can you can you have something new you what what you have gained is that you can share or apply it to to the class which makes your student interesting or interested also to you so next is the philosophical basis of CPD which is growth as an evidence of life. This implies that every professional is expected to continue developing. It means that we are growing all the time because it is our nature. It is the philosophy of life. Next is man or woman is an unfinished work. So this is one of the philosophical basis of CPD, which implies that anything that is alive grows or anything that grows is alive. For a professional teacher, one is always in the process of becoming better. They must be hungry for new learnings because no one is born perfect. We must work hard to be better and to learn more. So next, next are the historical and legal basis of continuing professional development or CPD. First is the Batas Pambansa or Education Act of 1982. Chapter 3 on Duties and Obligations, Section 16, Paragraph 4. One of the teacher's obligation is to assume that responsibility to maintain and sustain his professional growth and advancement and maintain professionalism in his behavior at all times. 
it means that as for the teachers, it is a must or and it is part of the responsibility to make herself or himself grow so that they could have a lot of they could have they could share a lot of their expertise to their students. And next is the section five, paragraph four, Philippine Constitution. The state shall enhance which states that the state shall enhance the right of teachers to professional advances. This talks about the government giving an opportunities to teachers to develop their self so that they could they could learn more knowledge to, to be shared in order for them to share it to their students. Next is the RA 9155 or Public Act 9155 or Governance of Basic Education Act of 2001. It is an act instituting a framework of government for basic education, establishing authority and accountability. The accountability. The decks as the Department of Education and for other purposes enacted on August 11, 2001. Next is the Republic Act 7836 or the Philippine Teachers Professional Professionalization Act of 1994. It is an act to strengthen the regulation and supervision of the practice of teaching in the Philippines and prescribing a licensure examination for teachers and for other purposes. So it is a time where LEP or the licensure for uh, education teachers. I mean, lic licensure for uh, licensure examination for teachers. Sorry for that mistake. Um, so th it is where that happens or that was being made where teachers are teachers or be, uh, before they can they can um, teach they should have this they should be a left passer and next is the resolution number 435 series of 1997 code of ethics for professional teachers Article 2, Republic Act Number 7836, Philippine Teachers Prof Professionalization Act 1994, Section 6, PD Number 223 as amended. So this resolution, um, this resolution talks about the code of ethics for professional teachers. It will serve as a guide for the teachers. For the, for the professional teachers which they are going to follow next is the executive order two, number 266 which states that institutionalization of the continuing professional education or cpe programs of the various professional regulatory boards under the supervision of the professional regulation commission Next is the Republic Act number 10912, an act mandating and strengthening the continuing professional development program for all regulated professions, creating continuing professional development council and appropriating funds, therefore, in other purposes. So, in this act it became a mandatory requirement for professional registration systems it gives importance for the development of professionals knowledge and competence next okay so that was the last part of my report because the next topic was the next topic which is continue which, which is a uh, um, continuation of my report is already um, part of my groupmates um, topic so this is the end of my report
which is all about the continuing professional development or CPD it what is the CPD and what is its um, importance or essential and then its philosophical basis and lastly its historical or legal basis so thank you for listening and that would be all thank you